Okay, so we're ready for part four. And basically today, nice day out there. So uh, what we're going to be doing is you still got this here. Old piece of fiberglass uh, that sealed off the box on the roof. We got to get that out of there. I got an old uh, Sony Explode in here from an old buddy of mine, Pierce. Uh, he gave me a good deal on that just to give me some base going in my truck. So, I got uh, one battery in there for right now. One fuse coming from up front. And just a little cheap amp in here right now, Kenwood. Um, thing got down pretty good for what it is. So, it just gave me a little bit of bass to listen to. So, I didn't have to listen to just the door speakers. So, last thing we got to do here is get the... Uh, the floor out of the truck I got it bolted in in the back bolted in in the floor and there's brackets here and I hold it down in the front so if I can't reach the bolts I forget how I done it what I'm gonna do is just use the cutoff saw like I did with the rest of the box and uh, just cut it in pieces and take it out and then from there we'll get some measurements Get a box designed and then uh, get to work on getting the box ready. So, first thing I'm going to do here, I guess, is clean out all this junk. And then, uh, next thing we'll do once I get all the junk out of here is uh, we'll probably tackle that piece there first, then the floor. So, I'm going to clean this junk out and we'll be right back. Okay, so I got the whole truck cleaned out, all the garbage cleaned out, subwoofer out, battery out, wires disconnected, fuse off up front. Next step is to tackle this here piece of fiberglass here. I had this here screwed to the box, you can see, and fiberglass to the box, and it was uh, helping to seal the truck off. So next step is to try to get this off and uh, what I'm going to do is take some screwdrivers and take a hammer, pound them up into there like that and pry it down. Hopefully this will just peel off. So that's what I'm going to tackle right now. I don't think I can set this here tripod up so you guys can get that. Let's see. I don't know if it bends back far enough or not. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pause that and come back. So I started uh, prying at it with the screwdriver. As you can see, I got this side here all disconnected. We're about halfway there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And uh, then the screwdriver and up here pry down and then this piece here will come right off and uh, that'll be the first step today next step will be to get this floor out of here so I'll finish taking this off and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done okay so I just pried off the last corner up there it's loose now Add that to the rest of the pile of the box. So, now we get our full roof back. This here is MDF up here. We got one layer of MDF. Actually, two layers of quarter inch MDF is what's up there. So, uh, roof is all done. Last thing to do is to take off the box. So, like I said, I got, I don't know if you can see here, I got some seat bolt bolts. This is the bracket here, big L bracket that held the uh, seat bolts. So uh, they're actually easy to access, easily accessible. So I'll take them off now. Then it's just the brackets up front and the bolts in the bottom. I'm not sure if I can get to the bolts because I'm pretty sure I have. Let me jump out. Look, as you can see, this is a two by four frame. So I'm pretty sure I got it bolted in the middle and that was before I put these here two layers of MDF on and screwed them down and peeled them down so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this see what's going on and uh, we'll get a game plan going 
So first thing I'm doing here, as you can see I got all these out brackets in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I just, well actually I just did, I took all the screws out of them. This last one here, I still got a bit of fiberglass here from where I had it completely sealed off going up the truck. So I'm going to have to get some of that fiberglass broken away from there. So I can access, there we go. Just so we can get at the two screws in there. I don't know if you can see them in there. There's one, the other one's back there. So, loosen that up just a bit more. There we go. Let's pry that back. We should be able to get the gun in there. I'll pull them screws out, take the bolts out the back, and then hopefully this thing will come out. So, we'll check her back in a minute. Okay, so I got the uh, floor loosened up, but it's, uh, like I said, it's a big plywood frame and two sheets of uh, MDF on it, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to, oh, fuck, I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this up and get it out or not. Oh, I don't know if it's stuck on something. Oh, yeah. giving me an issue there so what I'm gonna do now is try to flip this up. Oh it's edge like that. Alright. Now I'm just gonna push this right over the top. And then the pile that we got over there and uh, be done with. Wasn't as bad as I saw. I guess I know this side here. Yeah, it's only one. Okay. Okay. Here. Got the cut on. Oh, the roof. And we have an empty truck. Oh, give my back a little bit of a break. I'm gonna clean this rest of this garbage out, couple tools, give her a vacuum, and start measuring for the wall. So that's part four. Taking the floor and the fiberglass seal out. And uh, next will be the start of the build series. So this will be the last video for the teardown. And uh, we'll be starting to build up. So uh, I'll be back with the build video. Hopefully starting in the next couple days to around a week. Thanks for watching.